Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we are back on Minecraft. Who wants to be a millionaire? And let's see who we are joined by. Today we have Alan from Norwich, Rodney from Peckham, we have Goomyu from somewhere in Canada. Where's my <laughs> I don't know boo boo. So we've got Sue from Southend, Matt from Stoke, and Christine from Gateshead, and you may have guessed it, it's going to be Goomyu who joins us today, so come on down. So, I wish I had spotlights. Oh my you god, know, that was uh, The spotlights just all come beaming down, ah, oh, I'd make it. Yes sir, this is Goomyu, a long time serving member of the Minecraft community. Hello, yeah. How are you doing today? Doing and what would you do if you did actually win a big sum of money if it wasn't just fake. <laughs> <laughs> I'd honestly just spend it on my friends, let's be honest. Yeah, well, he's very generous, he's giving me- Right, we have explained it before the video, but I'll go through it once again, just to get into the gist of things. You've got 15 questions, answer all 15 correctly, wins you the 1 million score on the leaderboard, I'll say. Right, sir. For one hundred pounds, what grows on top of dirt blocks? Is it A hair, B grass, C apples, or D teeth? <laughs> mm, difficult question. Do you know our last contestant was Jawa, and he was also a polar bear. So I'm getting a bit deja vu here. That's right. You've won one hundred. Yay! <laughs> right, sir. So, yeah, these first five questions, they are quite, they're relatively straightforward. Peppery goom you, I'll call you. <laughs> so, but if you do struggle, you have got your lifelines. I've found a friend on 50-50, which we'll get to if we need them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, the zombie wears similar clothes to which character? Is it A, Alex, B, Bob, C, Steve, or D, Phil? Oh, he's locked in. Oh, well, that is right. We are on to the £300 question. What is the name for a half block? Is it a slob, a slab, a slip, or a sloop? <laughs> Yay! My apologies, I My apologies, no, I it's, okay. it's okay, it's an, intense, it's an intense scenario to be in, don't worry. <laughs> We've had some very, very chatty people sweating under pressure in this studio. Have no fear. <laughs> huh? Right, we'll get straight into the five hundred pound. We'll get hopefully get these next two questions out of the way, and then we can relax. And then, because you'll have at least a thousand. Yeah. So, which of these items allow you to ride on a pig? Is it A, a minecart? B, a boat? C. A litre slash a litre, whichever you pronounce it, or is it a D saddle? I don't know, it's so hard. <laughs> I thought you was gonna go for the wrong one then. I was just gonna run behind that curtain and hard. <laughs> but yeah, you have got it right, it is indeed a saddle. Do you know once, right? I know I keep mentioning this, but Game and Blue, he got the very first question wrong, and I didn't expect him to put the wrong answer. Like he said, a squirrel fell out a tree or something like that. So I said the answer was right, even though it wasn't. So, yeah. <laughs> right, let's get your last of the first five questions done. Okay. Which enchantment allows the crossbow to shoot three projectiles instead of one? Is it multi shot, piercing, quick charge, or mending? Thousand. Where's my new car? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what type of car you'll be able to get for that. Maybe a nice cheap one. One that um. Has I'm actually talking about mileage on it. Talking about cars. There was one that was on Facebook the other day, right? And uh, yeah. no one's buying it because it's too good of a deal. It's only seven hundred and sixty dollars. Everyone's like, if, that, <laughs> if it's that cheap, there has to be something wrong with it. You'll come on. There'll be no wheels. <laughs> <laughs> or no engine. <laughs> yeah. 
I'll just knock out. Just, I'll just take a picture. Or, or just no break, you know? Just, there has to be something yeah. wrong with it for it to be 700. <laughs> <laughs> there's, just, there's just nothing there. It's literally just just like a picture of the car coming in a frame. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> right. So, your next five questions, they're a little bit. They increase in difficulty as you go on now. You'll probably maybe start, I don't know, feeling a bit more panicky, I don't know, unless you were cool as a cucumber, <laughs> Drake Softball was when he was on here, he, he was through the questions. Right, so, for £2,000, which of these won the 2021 mob vote? Frog, Copper Gollum, Ale, or Glare? <laughs> I think that's the first time I'm going to have to censor a million. <laughs> Uh, I, I know I'm gonna probably get it wrong, but I think it's just one. Uh, just tell me I'm wrong. Go ahead. It's the wrong answer. No. <laughs> oh, well, Gumia, the correct answer was the alley. <laughs> I thought it was, but it was like it doesn't sound right in my head. <laughs> Oh, don't worry, you join the long list of people who go away on the thousand pounds. But yeah, it was fun having you. It was fun having you. Yeah. Right, guys, we are joined by our next contestant now. It is Skullmaster. Say hello. Hello. If you want to. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so Skullmaster is a ginger cat for today's episode, and yeah, he's hoping to do better than our last contestant who only went away with a thousand pounds. But it was a bit unlucky, really. Anyway, so Skull, how far do you think you can get? Uh, a million, obviously. Yeah, I like <laughs> it. I like the confidence. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that, that, that right. will not age well. <laughs> <laughs> Two moments later, you just just cuts to you like getting the first question wrong. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, right? You know how this works. Um, we'll 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 just cr crack on with it now. So <laughs> we've got. The first five questions, the first one is worth £100. There are 16 colour variations of which block? Is it A, sand, B, dirt, C, wool, or D, stern? Um, I mean, probably wool, right? Well, I don't even know what the last one was. What's it, what? <laughs> stern? Stern. <laughs> what did you... Yeah, that's like the C, right? I think that might be my accent, to be to be honest. <laughs> it's stone. Oh, you <laughs> but said yeah, stone? you got it right. Wait, what? Yeah, I said it's a really I thought strong you said accent. stern. I was like, what's that? That that yeah, yeah it's my accent. <laughs> <laughs> it's like where, where I'm from in all, you pronounce us as er. Right. So okay. it was not stern. It was stone. Okay. I'll, I should really speak a bit more posh when presenting this. I'll, ah. I'll, I'll move on to the next question before I embarrass my dialect. <laughs> <laughs> Hoe in the ground turns grass into what? Is it A, grass path, B, dirt, C, farmland, or D, cast dirt? Yay! That's 200. I, I didn't know what you, you would call it uh, uh, for some reason. I no, I, <laughs> I didn't know I had a name because I don't think you can get it on creative. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> question three. The wandering trader walks around with two of which animal? Is it A, llamas, B, pigs, C, cows, or D, turtles? You've locked in llamas and that is indeed <laughs> correct. <laughs> Funny if they had turtles. <laughs> right, £500. You're only two questions away from your first checkpoint. I'm sure you'll get there. Okay. A chicken jockey is a chicken ridden by which hostile mob? Is it A, skeleton? B pillager, C spider, or D baby zombie. I'm pretty sure the only one that can ride it is a baby zombie, right? So yeah, like, well done, well done, well done. <laughs> I, I imagine <laughs> seeing a spider riding a chicken. That's just like, <laughs> like that's just something oh, imagine, you wouldn't see. <laughs> like, imagine seeing a zombie riding a spider riding a skeleton riding a chicken. Yeah, that would be pretty Blow weird. Your mind. <laughs> yeah. Right. Last question before you guaranteed at least a thousand. It is. What do nether warts grow on? Is it A, obsidian, B, soul sand, 
Sea and stone. <laughs> or the <D> cobblestone. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's yeah. it. You've reached your first checkpoint. Yay. Let's go. I should probably switch off the levers when doing it, because then you have to go back and like just turn them off. No, it's probably uh, annoying. I mean, it's, it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> Give me some exercise. Get me step count up for the uh, day. All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Burn some calories. <laughs> that count, does it count on Minecraft if you if you're walking about on that? I, I mean, you're moving your thumbs, so I mean, like yeah. probably like the tiniest bit, yeah. I <laughs> must have really strong thumbs and really weak rest of the body then. <laughs> Just a guy with two massive thumbs, you know, like them things you get at American football matches and whatnot. No, I have no idea what <laughs> you mean. <laughs> So you reach fair checkpoint now. We can relax a little bit. You go away with at least a thousand. So you've better two people with scars from earlier in the series. Now this is the tricky part. Most okay. people from this point either get a couple of questions right here and then get one wrong and go away with a thousand, or the only people who have got past the next checkpoint have gone on to win a million. So we'll soon see what happens. By the way, has anyone what? actually like won this yet? Like, has anyone actually like won yeah, the full we've million? Had We've had, technically had four winners. We've had Town Air to 25, you won it, somehow. We don't know yet. It's under investigation. <laughs> no, we're kidding. <laughs> Love you, Town. <laughs> um, Jake Softball won it. He did quite well. He did it really quickly. Uh, it's me, Fernando, won it. And then Town and Air somehow won it again, but that, that time it was a Valentine's Day special. He did it with his girlfriend. Ah, okay. Which, yeah. So there was two of them. So they had a little bit of help at that time. But yeah. <laughs> Shall we get on to the £2,000 question? Um, yes. Which dart does not feature a window? Is it A, spruce, B, oak, or should I say oak, C, <laughs> iron, or D, acacia? Now by window we just mean there's like a... Yeah, yeah uh, I'm pretty sure it's spruce, right? Because like, that's like the really dark one that like has yeah, no window, yeah. That, yeah, that's great. You've won 2,000. We get a bit more excited uh, with every right answer now. Not <laughs> like baby questions. <laughs> so your next question's for four thousand pounds. Might be up in the difficulty. It might not if you know the answer. The YouTuber Dream is well known for which series? Is it A. Minecraft Manhunt, B. Creative Cribs, <laughs> C. Survival Madness, <laughs> or D. Sad by Sad? Yeah, that is A. <laughs> Minecraft Manhunt. <laughs> That is right, yes, that is a Minecraft man. <laughs> so, your next one's 8,000. It's your question number... I think it is question number 8 as well, isn't it? Yeah, I so, think so. Stradas are caused harm by which of the following things? I can see me slipping into a posh accent now, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> is it A, standing in a filled cauldron? Is it B, lava? C, snowballs? Or D, water? Could you repeat the question? Actually, wait, no, I can read it. I don't know. Why oh, I, can, I can phrase it in a different way. Which of the following cause harm to Stradas? Is Stradas. it standing in a filled cauldron, lava, snowballs, or water? Uh, a stride. I feel like Stradas are those things in the Never that like walk across the lava, right? <laughs> so it can't be lava because. Um, yeah, that would be pretty useless. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Wait, A was water, right? And then, no. A was standing in a filled cauldron. So that that's just C, that's just stupid. It won't be that. It won't be that. Snowballs might, and water also is a possibility. So between water and snowballs. So, wait, is that B and D? Well, uh, wait, um, which one's which? <laughs> that is. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. Exactly. I don't think it says it on here, does it? C so? and D. C and D, so is C water. C and D are snowballs. Snowballs is C, water is D. And you've got you got your life plans if you want to use them just to make sure. Uh oh okay. I'm I think I'm gonna chance it. I'm gonna go with the Yeah. Of water. That might have been a bad mistake. <laughs> I lost the night. <laughs> you got it right! Oh, okay. <laughs> Yes. Oh, <laughs> I was the worried then, you put your head down, I was like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so apparently um, they are damaged by splash bottles, standing in water, and rain. 
How are they not damaged by our snowballs though, Captain? I, I don't know, you'd think they'd be That's... damaged by both, to be you, honest. You think? I mean, we could test it, really. But at least if you got it right either way, if you got it wrong then, and they are damaged by snowballs. I read it. Yeah. Well, I mean... Captain's read it on Minecraft Wikipedia, so it must be true. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. <laughs> Let's get on to question number nine. Where if... You can double your money on this one. You can go away with 16,000. Okay. Which of these items would you always find in a buried treasure chest? Is it A, Heart of the Sea, B, an iron sword, C, a name tag, or D, a potion of water breathing? This is quite an interesting in question. In a buried, a buried treasure chest. A, a buried, hang on. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what I meant. How do posh people say that? <laughs> what do you mean by buried though? What, just like, underneath the ground? Like... Uh, I think... Barberry treasure chest, I think it's the ones you find in uh when you get the treasure maps. And then Is it like in the ships? In... Is that what you mean? I, I don't think know. they're the one I think Oh Barry, no. Barry Treasure oh, yeah, Chest yeah, are the ones maps. you yeah, get a map okay, for and then you, you go mean. dig it up from somewhere. Okay, what sorry, what are the options again? I know so what you've you mean got there, A, not. which is Heart of the Sea. You've got B, an iron sword, C is a name tag, or D is a potion of water breathing. This is, you've had two mm. couple of hard questions back to back here. I do apologize. Heart of the Sea <laughs> feels like something it would be, and I feel like I've heard of it before, but not mm -hmm. that much because I haven't come across like buried treasure chests that often. Well, like I say, if if you're really unsure, you can use the lifelines. You can always walk away as well if you don't trust your lifelines. Take, I'll take, before. I'll take fifty-fifty. Okay, so I'll pull two of the levers, which to get rid of, Captain can't hear anything, he just picks two options I need to get rid of. So, it's not C, which was name tag, and it's not D, which was a potion of water breathing. So, it is between an iron sword and a put, and a, hang on. It's between iron sword and heart of the sea. Heart of the sea is A, and iron sword is B. Right, I'm gonna go with heart of the sea then. Yeah, yes. that's correct. Yeah. Okay. You've won 16,000. I would have got that right anyway. I was going to go for that, but I used 50-50, but yeah, there you go. I mean, you might as well. Just, just, just <laughs> yeah, to yeah. make sure. Yeah. It's just yeah. to get your... You went now, you've got you've got one lifeline left. Oh, well, I think you can technically you use the Ferner Friend twice. <laughs> By the way, um, because there's obviously no when, when is, like, the next checkpoint? There's another checkpoint, right? It's the 32... This is it. You've got one more question. £32,000 question. Okay, so, okay. So, this is your 10th question. If you get it right, then 32 is the minimum you can go away with. Wait, how much questions are there in total? There are 15, so there okay. are only... Well, the six including this next one. Okay, okay. I've made more than halfway then. That's pretty good, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. it's pretty good. I just really hope you don't get this wrong and then just go away with a thousand. You should see the amount of people gone away with a thousand. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Right, so. Oh, how good's your Minecraft story mode knowledge? Who voices oh. Jesse in Minecraft story mode? Oh, no. Wait, I, I might recognise his name, so it's fine. Troy Baker. Is it B, Definitely Patton not. Oswald? Oh, okay, yeah, C, yeah, it's him, it's him. Mark Hamill? It's him, it's him. Yeah, it's, him. It's, it's, it's that guy, it's that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was pretty quick to that, and yeah, yeah you spot. <laughs> I, 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 it's not, I know him from, like, other stuff, not Minecraft Story Mode as well, because, like, I, yeah. I swear he's he's a quite famous voice actor, you know? Like, I've seen, I swear, doesn't he play the rat in Ratatouille and that? Um, yeah, and he's like he's, he's one of those where he's got I such saw, a unique name that you I, can't I get saw this really weird else. like I haven't watched it, but there's this weird Disney Plus series like about Modok, this Marvel thing, and he plays him as well. Yeah, I've seen um, that. And then he also uh, I've seen this other show called The Boys where he plays like this guy's gills. It's, it's really weird, but he plays <laughs> the, it's like his gills are talking to him, um, it, like he's a well, superhero, yeah. and it's I don't know, it's proper weird. But yeah, he, he's everywhere. <laughs> well, I swear. <laughs> Hello, Pat and Oswald, watching this video. He's also uh, at the end of the <laughs> new Eternals movie, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, the other ones you've got. Well, Wait, Troy Baker spoiler. is best known for his Batman, really. He does Batman cartoons and games. Mark Hamill, Luke Skywalker, or the Joker in the Batman games, actually. And Clark Gregg plays Agent Phil Coulson in The Avengers. <laughs> Let's get on to the £64,000 question. Alright. The Killer Bunny. Spawned using commands on Java Edition is a reference to which movie? Is it A. Monty Python on the Holy Grail? 
B, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. C, Hop. Or D, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I literally have no idea. <laughs> um, oh. I'm gonna use I mean, the 50 50, I think. 50 -50. You want to do the 50 50? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. I will get rid of Captain All Point to 2. He's gonna get rid of B and C. So you're left with a choice between Monty Python and the Hurley Grail or Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Since since when did Harry Potter have a bunny in? I'm trying to think. <laughs> I haven't seen it in ages. I've only seen it like once or twice, but I don't remember the second Harry Potter film having a bunny rabbit in. <laughs> you, can, you can use the, your phone a friend. I don't... Wait, what's the first one called? Monty Python and the Hurley Grail. So it was a killer bunny mob. Um, <laughs> so it sounds ridiculous if you've uh, never heard of it, I suppose. Um, like, you find a friend for me, you'd be pretty trustworthy. If you, if you don't want to go... Uh, I mean, you might as well answer this question anyway, because you can't lose any money on it. I'm gonna... <sighs> is there a bunny rabbit in Harry Potter? I swear there isn't. There's an owl. There isn't a bunny rabbit. What I remember. <laughs> I don't, there's right, definitely so... an, an owl. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right. Um, just so, just so you definitely go for the right one. A is Monty Python and B is Harry Potter. Just, just, just so, so you know which one. Oh, okay. oh no! <laughs> yeah, you're right. Okay. You're right. You're right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, your phone a friend has just said that they knew the answer. Oh wow! <laughs> oh, um, so yeah, the the it is the called. Hang on, I need I need to. Get my pronunciation right here. The Killer Rabbit of Kerpranog. Kerbanog. I don't know. I've seen the film. It's quite funny. It's like a white rabbit and then they kill it with a hurly hand grenade. Uh, which sounds oh, ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'll let you go watch it on YouTube or something later. <laughs> it's, it's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit too much to explain and yeah. <laughs> you, you probably think this guy's crazy. What have I got myself into? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's a feature on Minecraft as well, so if you want to kill a bunny, be my guest. Spawn it in on Java Edition. <laughs> I don't have Java, so... <laughs> no, neither do I. <laughs> right, so... We'll go on to the next question. This one is for one-eighth of a million, one hundred and twenty-five thousand pound. We're getting there now. Only four left. In which of these would you not find naturally generated cobwebs? Is it A. Stronghold libraries B. Abandoned villages C. Igloo basements or D. Jungle temples Wait, natural generated cobwebs? Yeah, one of the one of these far places do not have naturally generated cobwebs. Uh Got what were the last two? Villages, basements. Uh, abandoned villages, igloo basements. Oh, no, wait, hang on. Sorry, was on <laughs> that was B. Um, C is igloo basements, and D is jungle temples. Uh, that's a tough one. Um, and I, I know I know the first two. I like I know for sure the first two. Um, like have cobwebs or whatever i just mm -hmm. I'm, I'm i don't know i don't know what an igloo basement is like i don't understand what that is to be honest um, uh, but I, i'll say the basement of an igloo <laughs> well, <laughs> um and then jungle temple if i think to a jungle temple i don't think of any cobwebs in it um but i don't know but then I mean, at right, the same you've time got, you've got at the same time you've got three options here Igloo basement? Got... Is it just like more yeah. snow underneath or is it like an actual basement with wood? <laughs> I don't know. Um... <laughs> if, you, if you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. Sometimes life's, life's mean. I'd think it would be more likely to have cobwebs in a, in a jungle temple, but I'm not sure. Wait. Yeah, like I say, you've got you've got three options. You can have a take a wild stab in the dark and then risk losing a little bit of money. And you'll go back to down to thirty-two thousand. You can use your phone, a friend, and then if they don't know, 
you can either decide to take the money or have a stab in the dark again. Or I can just take the money now. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's up to you. Okay, wait, which one's which? Just so I make sure. C, C's what? The igloo one. C right? is igloo basements, D is jungle temples, and then the first two just, just in case. Uh, stronghold libraries and abandoned villages. But. So it's which one it's doesn't to... have cobwebs, right? Which one does not have cobwebs? No. Okay. Oh, we had the ER yeah, then, when I said no. <laughs> so, wait, just to make sure, this is igloo, right? Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> I that need to make igloos. sure. I just need to keep on. Okay. Okay. I'm. I'm. I'm good. I. I might got that wrong. No. <laughs> That's the wrong answer. No. Oh, no. It was jungle temples. Jungle oh, temples don't have cobwebs. But you did really well, to be fair, and you're the first person to ever go away with thirty-two thousand. <laughs> Wait. What? Really? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Like I say, there's either the three winners. As in the millionaires, oh, there's the £1,000 people. So you're going to be probably forever, ever alone in... You can see it as second place. <laughs> oh, actually, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Wow. But yeah, so that's it, guys. Schoolmaster goes away with 32000 Wow, would you believe it? If you think you can better the score, match your score, or you just want to see if you can get past the first few questions. Let us know down below. But guys, thank you for watching today's episode. Goomyu went away with 1,000 daily. And then Skull has just gone away with 32,000 pounds. Until next time, guys. Bye.